What is going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of Comic Card Checklist and today uh, it's going to be a different kind of video. I just wanted to show what card sets I have and we're going to go through all these boxes because I store everything in binders and on pocket pages so let's get started. Here my first ones are the 90 to 1995 Marvel Universe and the uh, Masterpieces from 92 to 95 and 07 to 08. These are all the chase cards from that set. Then we have the Marvel chase cards. And these are pretty much X-Men and all the X-Men and all the Spider-Man chase cards. Then we go to our first box. It's comic images, basically uh, from 84 to 90 of co uh, Marvel comic images. Sets like um, uh, Marvel Universe, Wolverine. Uh, the first initial sets from comic images, pretty much. <laughs> then we have the 91 to 92 comic images, which are uh, like Wolverine, Ghost Rider, x-men um those came out around that time then we probably have mo the most popular box the 1990 to 1992 marvel universe base set these has the mpel 1990 marvel universe as well as the 1991 here's the continuation 93 to 94 marvel masterpieces and my marvel medals are here are here also then we move on to the masterpieces 92 to 95 and then the newer masterpiece sets 07 to 08 um in the side boxes we have uh i believe that's just doubles and then the 2020 masterpieces base set 2016 masterpieces base base set and what if set 17 spider-man base set and subset and the silver foil version of that spider-man set next rack we have all the 2013 marvel retro chase sets then we have 94 to 97 spider-man and then we have our 2015 marvel retro chase sets Followed by the 92 to 95 X Men. We have our 94 to 95 Marvel Flare set with the 94 Pepsi cards. Because the Pepsi cards and the Marvel, Marvel Flare are like the same, they have the same art. So I just put them together. Then we have my Marvel Vibranium set. 11 to 12 Marvel Beginnings and all the chase cards for that set. Moving on. I have all my Written House chase cards. These are probably from the Marvel Universe in 2011. Uh, greatest Battles, Heroes, uh, Divas, Women of Marvel, the second one. It's a whole bunch. Then we have our Marvel Vision and Silver Age and the rest of the base sets that I don't have on top between the 92 and 95 X-Men. <clears throat> then we have our promo sets. I don't remember what's in here, but I don't think it's uh, promo sets anymore. We have Marvel 3D, Marvel Legends, and then the base sets for Marvel Retro. Written Houses, Dangerous Divas, Heroes and Villains, and all the Marvel Anniversary sets. Here we have the Avengers Complete, Fantastic Four, and Arch Archives, X-Men Archives, and a whole bunch of other Written House sets. And then we have the 11 to 14 Marvel Universe base sets, and all the parallel base sets that they have. <clears throat> On the side, we have our Marvel Gem set, and... 2018 x-men stack set and this box just has all the 
subsets probably like the battle spectra and the other chase uh, card subsets for these newer um, Marvel masterpieces and a whole bunch of other chase sets <clears throat> Then we have my Superman binder, which has the the long wide version of the Superman, the whole set there, followed by the 2016 to 2018 Marvel Annual. <laughs> then my Superman the Legend binder with the whole set inside, followed by all the toll cards, 94 Superman, 94, 95 Wildstorm, 96 kingdom come then we have my captain america and deadpool and annual marvel annual subsets <clears throat> then comes all my image cards um gen 13 sets wildcat sets and wildstorm sets <clears throat> and at the bottom we have the lady dead sets she sets and vampirilla and here is Deathmate, Gen 13, and Wildcat. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have my 2017 Marvel Premiere set along with the bus set. Uh, <clears throat> Marvel Gem set. Um, I believe it's the Exquisite set with the Acetate set and a whole bunch of other uh, gem sets. <coughs> uh, Marvel Premiere base set and then the wizard all of the sealed gold versions of the wizard cards and that would be rack one <clears throat> moving on to our next rack uh these are my marvel pepsi and dc pepsi and a bunch of other stuff but i'll go through those later the here we have our DC and Amalgam, <clears throat> Amalgam and DC Legacy and Justice League, and Marvel DC is in here as well. Then I have my Bragen, uh, Series One and Two binder inside that binder. Uh, these are my doubles and extras. <clears throat> Here's my ninety one DC Comics Bloodlines Legends and Outburst. Marvel Now and a Tree Scroll War set. <laughs> All my Batman and Super Mar Superman sets and the Hollow sets. Um, there's like written outs in there. It's pretty much like every set they have dedicated to those characters. These are the older Batman sets um, <clears throat> and uh, Super Billion set, which is. I believe the older Batman and the and then the Cryptozoic newer villain set <clears throat> but here I think it's just doubles um yeah I haven't organized this side yet but a lot of them are just doubles of what I have then I have a Hercules binder <clears throat> with the whole set inside mm, this is my Marvel sticker card set it has the 96 Marvel Magnet, comic book superheroes, both 70, 75 and 76. Uh, Superman, uh, 88 Spider-Man, 90 Wolverine, and 90 Punisher. Um, those are the comic images uh, sticker sets. The, the, the bottom line, so all of these are mostly stickers. Then I have my Spider-Man archives binder uh all the xena set which is pretty much one two three four and seasons one two three the four and five and six beauty and brawn art art and images and dangerous lessons the only one not here is um uh quotable xena and then we go back to dc milestones fox kids treats pogs um a whole bunch of stuff but it's mostly written there and then another sticker set this time is for the 80s marvel superheroes the 84 secret wars 86 marvel universe 87 x-men 
So these are the subset for the comic images that I have that are from between 86 to 88. <clears throat> then we got our newer sets here. Well, just one of the newer ones, but the Marvel Flare, 80 years, 96 Marvel Mo Motion, 2019 Marvel Flare. And yeah, they're all like, two. they came out 2019. Then we have our other comic images sets that are non-Marvel, which is pretty much Savage Dragon, Shadow Hawk, and Young Blood, and all of those type of cards are here. <clears throat> here is my uh wow, I can't even notice the yellow in here. Flare Front um binder. Pretty much it's all the those comic book size cards that uh, that you could collect be between uh, X-Men, Spider-Man, and um, Flare Prince, pretty much. have my She Binder here, which has uh, two types. They're both in there. And then this is my Rapper's Binder and the X-Men Archives Binder. And some more of the newer Master Prints. The creators, Ultraverse, and pretty much Valiant. So all of that is in this binder. Then I have binder sets with for DC Legacy, Justice League Archives, and New 52. And this right here is my most expensive binder probably because it has Marvel Premiere, Ma Marvel Masterpieces 1995, uh, 1966 Donruss Marvel Superheroes, 1996 Marvel Masterpieces, so, so yeah, it has three uh, Marvel Premiere sets, and, well, just two, and uh, buyback sets, so, <clears throat> and here we have another uh, binder set, which has the 95 Ultra Spider, Fleer Ultra Spider-Man, and the O9 written house Spider-Man archives. And let's move on to the top. We only got a little bit more to go. Uh, so this is all, all my Marvel pogs between X-Men, Spider-Man, and um pretty much Marvel Universe. My Final Fantasy set. And this one just has all of those random um, um, other card sets I collect, not categorized in either DC or Marvel. Or, I mean, a Valiance here, but it's uh, Team Blockbuster, Vampire's Luxury, The Tent, Warrior Nun, Fathom, and Top Cow. <clears throat> Another one of those binders where I don't have a classification for them, but. I have it, and this one is Tech World, Defective Comics, Tribute to Jack Kirby, Golden Age, Creators, Alternate, and Project Superpowers. Here are all my Mega Card set, which three of them came out, maybe four, but this one has Lady Dead, Razor, and She. Then here's the rest of my tall cards, which has the Batman and Robin, Spawn, and Sandman. Here are the half card, um, pretty much they're the size of, you know, um, half a page. So I have my postcards here and other case toppers and uh, the huge overpower and um, al along with a whole bunch of other promos. Uh, Johnny Lightning. Marvel cards, I pretty much just put them there, including their, the whole package. Um, here is Comic Greatest, Profit, um, Double Impact, Dark Child, Little Strike, uh, Ghost. Uh, pretty much these are all manufactured by Chrome. This one are TV shows that are not marvel so or fantasy rather but here's a still born set aliens versus predator julie bell supreme 
Um, next one is Plasm, Dark Dominion, and Legacy. Uh, this one has the Batman Pepsi. And these are my DC promos and Justice League and DC Bombshells sets. This one is Evangeline, Razor, and um, Cyber Force. Pretty much it's like the Wild Storm swimsuit-ish card set. Conan and Red Sonya. Uh, Superman, Dark Child, and Lament cards. All, all of those are binder sets, so they're not like related to each other, but I just put them all up there. Then we have Creators, Painted Cow, Flaxen, Fem Force, Mortal Kombat. Uh, yeah, all of those don't relate, but I'm running out of space to store everything. But next we have Dawn and Vampirella sets, Gen 13 binder, and Lady Death binder. Then I have all, all my, well not all, half of my movie sets. But this one contains Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Avengers movie, or TV series cards. Lady Death sets, um, these are all the parallel versions. Uh, I think they call it Fracto, or pretty much the holochrome, the better looking one, b besides the regular chromium. Oh, never mind. I lied, guys. This is the fractal set, and this is just a regular set. Yeah, because uh, it says fractal sets. So, and I have them for Evil Ernie, Lady Death, and She. Uh, these are my other Pog sets, which have those and the uh, '80s Marvel superhero stickers, the 2019 Marvel Contest of Champions, and a bunch of other Pogs. This is my Max Pit and Spawn set, Witchblade set, pretty much all the Witchblade sets except for the signature one. <sighs> then we have my Marvel promo sticker sets, so pretty much all the vending machines um, <clears throat> that uh, <clears throat> are yeah, so all the vending Marvel ones that were like unauthorized. So they're, you know, produced illegally, but somehow like there's like tons of them. Then my magazine promo sets. My 2020 sets, which is anime and Marvel annual 2020. And my other movie sets, which has X-Men and Hulk. Marvel promo sets. This is my Marvel CCG sets, which is um, these are from game boards. And I also have Marvel Re Recharge and Marvel Genio. Then my Marvel Overpower, which is pretty much every card um, that's Overpower, Power Surge, Mission Control, IQ, and Monumental. And then this one has the Classic and X-Men, DC, JLA, Image, and pretty much all the promos that came up with it. <clears throat> I don't remember what's in that box because it's not labeled, but I'm pretty sure it's a complete set, set of something. Then Spider-Man Heroes and Villains, Artist Cards, and Mad Men. Then we have my CCG card sets, uh, power cards, spawn power cards, Wildstorm, Legend, Solitaire, the X-Men CCG, and Ultimate Battles CCG cards. Then the Wildstorm CCG sets, so, which there's a lot of them. So there's Limited, Unlimited, Conflict, Image, and Best of Wildstorm. And the last three we have our complete set of the Marvel Creators Collection along with the Spider-Man art box 
in Marvel Flare 2019, all their subsets and some stickers. But anyway, um, those are all the sets I have. So if you guys want to see any of, um, most of my sets are either missing just a few chase cards or complete sets. So if you guys want to see any, any card set at all, just let me know at the description, message me. And anyway, I think that's it for this episode, guys. So hope you guys like my content, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.